hello students so teratomas are ovarian tumors germ cell tumors the mature teratomas are benign teratomas and benign teratomas are mostly cystic so also known as dermoid cyst and it occurs in young women during active reproductive years so as you all know teratoma it has all the structures arising from all the three germ layers so you are seeing the ovary cystic ovary whole of the ovary is transformed into a cyst this is the cut surface so cystic ovary it was filled with pultaceous material pultaceous material is paste like material you are not seeing in this pultaceous material that material has been removed so teratomas are cystic tumors filled with pultaceous material paste like material and you can see hair or skin cartilage bone tooth etc so on histologic examination the cyst wall is composed of stratified squamous epithelium with underlying sebaceous gland so one structure is squamous epithelium stratified squamous epithelium with sebaceous glands hair shafts and other skin adnexal structures so skin with adnexal structures in most cases structures from other germ layers can be identified such as cartilage bone you can also see thyroid tissue and neural tissue dermoid cysts are sometimes incorporated within the wall of a mucinous cyst adenoma so dermoid cyst can be associated with other tumors like most commonly mucinous cyst adenomas about 1% of the dermoid cyst undergo malignant transformation which malignant transformation thyroid carcinomas melanomas and squamous cell carcinomas so on histology you will see skin stratified squamous lining epithelium with skin adnexal structures with skin adnexal structures include sebaceous glands hair shafts okay then other structures are cartilage bone thyroid tissue neural tissue brain tissue okay. you can see um, adipose tissue muscle muscle bundle you can also note it so this is the micro photograph of dermoid cyst this is the stratified squamous lining epithelium this is the keratinous plate adnexal structures and what you are seeing here is cartilage this is very important topic so we'll get questions on classification of ovarian tumors 
which include surface epithelial tumors most important are serous tumors and mucinous tumors serous tumors are more common than mucinous tumors and in these tumors benign are commonest 70 to 80% are benign rest are malignant and in germ cell tumors you can get short note on teratoma and teratoma in teratomas most common type is dermoid cyst the stroma ovary is when the structure present in cyst dermoid cyst is only thyroid tissue colloid filled follicles you will see cyst wall ovarian cyst wall with infiltrated by uh, uh, infiltrated by uh, thyroid follicles filled with colloid that's why it is known as monodermal teratoma single component is c so serous tumors in serous tumors you can, you will see unilocular cyst while in mucinous tumor you will have multilocular cyst filled with sticky material or mucinous material while in serous tumors you will have clear fluid serous fluid unilocular cyst filled with clear fluids along with papillary excrescences many papillary excrescences on on histology cyst serous cyst is lined by columnar epithelium with abundant cilia in mucinous tumors tall columnar lining with mucin and absence of cilia and dermoid cyst you will have cyst un mostly unilocular cyst filled with paste like cutaceous material then you can see other structures like hair these are most common structures found in dermoid cyst hair tooth cartilage bone muscle etc so on microscopy you can see the stratified squamous lining epithelium with adnexal structures along with other structures like cartilage bone thyroid tissue neural tissue etc and about 1% of dermoid undergo malignant transformation most common transformation is squamous cell carcinoma others are thyroid carcinoma or melanomas thank you